Hi there, welcome to another Kevy Shaves. This is a, a bit of a special one. Some people have been asking me on uh, YouTube about uh, what did I get when I was on holiday recently in New York and um, Florida. I visited Pasteur's Pharmacy in New York, which is the regarded as the shaving mecca for wet shavers and uh, it really is a, a fantastic place and some people have been asking me to show what I got there so I thought I'd just make this short video to show you guys what I got and I also got some other stuff what, um, while I was in the States I got stuff sent to my hotel and stuff like that so I'll show you guys you guys can take a look I've laid everything out which I'll show you now and then we can come back and I'll talk about the different products in uh, a bit more detail so let's have a look Okay, so that was everything I got while I was on holiday in the States. Um, yeah, I got there the, the Labor Day weekend, which was, I think it was, was it September, Saturday, September the 3rd. But by the time I got there um, to New York, the time I got through immigration and customs and security and stuff like that, um, it was kind of late afternoon and it was too late by the time I got to my hotel to visit Pasteur's. I knew it would prob probably be closed, so... Um, I just left it but obviously on the Sunday it would have been closed and it was also closed on the Monday because that was a Labor Day holiday um, and I was leaving for Florida on Tuesday kind of mid-afternoon I had a, a flight to catch from JFK down to Orlando so I had to get up super early kind of um, I got up about 8, eight o'clock went out had some breakfast and I just walked up to um, pastors about I got there about nine o'clock so I didn't have that much time to kind of look about and film and stuff like that so um, but it was <laughs> it was a great experience to, to be there and it was uh, if you if you do get the chance to go to New York and visit pastors you, you really will have a fantastic time okay let's have a look at some of the stuff that I got at pastors uh, I, I'd written a list out actually before I um, went there and kind of thought, right, what are the things that you can't get here in the UK that I might be able to get in Pasteur? So I'd written a list about maybe half a dozen soaps and aftershaves and stuff like that. But as, <laughs> as soon as you go into Pasteur's and have a, have a look about, you start looking at all the different things. It's just, your mind just goes into overdrive and just think, and I totally forgot some of the things that I'd, um, I'd written down because it's just so much so much stuff, just a, a vast selection of um, soaps, aftershaves, razors, brushes, blades. Um, it's just incredible, it really is. And it's such, it's such a, a small um, pharmacy uh, right in the middle of Manhattan. It's really, it's kind of weird because there's the, these little tight aisles, which you guys have probably seen it on different videos. Um, but it's a, it's a proper working chemist. I mean, you have other people in, coming in for whatever cough medicine and stuff like that and 
<laughs> and you've got these guys uh, standing looking at the, the shaving aisles going, oh, look at all this stuff, it's beautiful. So here's what I bought while I was in Pasteur's. Uh, the Stallion from Razor Rock Soap. I've always wanted this. Um, I think you can get this in the UK, but um, I wanted to get this while I was there because I, I had a sample of it. I've got a sample of it and I, I really like the smell of it. It's a strong smelling oud soap. Uh, so I got that and I also got in Pasteur's, I got the matching splash. Uh, Razor Rock, the Stallion Splash. So, and you can actually smell it. I've not broken. I've not broken the seal on this, and you can, you can smell it coming through. It's uh, very strong. So I wanted to get that. So I got that. I also bought Barrister Man Lather Limon or Lemon, uh, which you guys may have seen in a, a video I put up recently. Yeah, I just wanted to get something from the Lather range from Barrister Man. So I picked this up. Um, uh, I also got um, this, which is Vanuli Dress Blue, and this is um, this is supposed to smell like um, Chanel uh, Blue de Chanel by Chanel, and this had a, this had the red sticker on it, so it was uh, thirty percent off. Anything with a red sticker on had thirty percent off, and this is a it's a kind of milky looking aftershave, but it does have a it does smell similar to Bleu de Chanel, so um, I got that. So that was nine ninety nine with uh, thirty percent off. So the mathematicians here can do the the, the math. <laughs> so I got that as well. Um, I also got yeah. I wanted to get the soap of this, but it, I couldn't find it in Pasteur's, uh, and it's. Um, Soap Commander Gusto, which is a raspberry lemonade aftershave balm. I had I got the balm, um, but I couldn't see the soap, so I just I got the balm just uh, just to have. I, I've got Soap Commander Courage balm, but I wanted to get this one because it smells it smells well. It does. It smells like raspberry lemonade. Lovely for the hot weather that we have here in Scotland. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I got that Gusto. I also got. Um, well, I'll show you this. Uh, this is Sterling, Sterling Soap Company, uh, and this is a new one. This is Piacenza. Um, I think this is modelled on Aqua de Gio or Aqua de Parma. I'm not sure. One of the two. Um, it still has a seal on it. I haven't opened it yet, but I, I'll explain something why in a in a second. Well, I didn't want to open it because. I had sellotape all around these kind of tape just for putting them on the plane and I wrapped them all in bubble wrap for putting in my suitcase. Uh, but that's Piacenza, which is very good. Uh, I also got Chisel Faced, Chisel Faced, Chisel Faced Ghost Town Barber uh, soap. I wanted to get the matching splash as well, but they didn't have it. Uh, I think they were out of stock of this, the, the Ghost Town Barber splash. I did see other chiselled face splashes there. Um, oh, smells amazing. But they didn't have this, the Ghost Town Barber splash, so I, I just ended up getting the soap. So I went outside and uh, I did my little bit of filming, which you guys may have seen in a previous video, and I thought, right, I'll just go in and have one more look. And then, um, because everything's kind of laid out, uh, there's no kind of order to it. I mean, every all the sort of PA soaps are together, and the Sterling stuff is to, is together. I mean, but there's little sort of nooks and crannies that you may find that you'll think, "Oh my God, there's that soap there. I've I've been looking for that." And when I went back in, I noticed uh, this soap, which I had been looking for, and I, I couldn't find it in the shop. Uh, Prix de Provence number sixty-three. Now Nick Shaves has used this, and he raved about it. So as you can see, it's got the sixty-three on the soap. And it smells absolutely beautiful. It's uh, it's like a nice, almost like a, a cross between a barber shop and a cologne. Just smells great, really nice. I'm really looking forward to using that. So I got that when I went back in just to have a, another final look. And uh, I also noticed <laughs> on um, kind of hanging up on the end of the shelves was all the blades and stuff that I hadn't noticed before. So I picked up two packs of the. Uh, Persona Reds, the Platinums, 
I picked up a couple of packs of those which I don't have. Um, so I got those. And uh, while I was there, I asked one of the assistants at the uh, pharmacy if Leon was there. Now Leon is the guy that um, he runs things at pharmacy at Pastors. Uh, I don't know if he owns it or if he's just like the manager there, but he he does come to some of the the wet shaving meets and he he does uh, contribute to things. Uh, so I met him and I just wanted to shake his hand and say hello and tell him I'd came over from Scotland and uh, I was amazed at the amount of shaving stuff. And I uh, got chatting to him. Um, it was myself and my brother-in-law were there and Mrs. Kevy and her sister. And Leon said. Oh, you, you guys have just missed the, the New York meet, which I knew had been two or three weeks previous. So he very, very generously went and said, uh, I'll give you guys a bag of some of the samples that were there. So he came back with this goodie bag full of uh, samples for me and my brother-in-law, which uh, I'll just show you what's in it. I'll just take it out, which I'm sure you guys that were at the meet, the New York meet, um, would have ha would have got some of this as well. Um, a little sample of Chiseled Face Summer Storm. A sample of Chiseled Face Pine Tar. Um, Trumpers Almond Cream. Sterling Unscented Balm, Post Shave Balm. Uh, that was in the bag. The there's another GFT. I think that's just a, a, a standard shaving cream um, comes in this um, yeah it kind of just smells like like cream but that was in the, the little sample bag that Leon gave us uh, there is also chisel faced cryogen which is a menthol little sample um, this was in it aftershave serum what's that Via Barbaria. I don't know what that is. It's a little kind of feels like aftershave balm or something. Um, Eucharis, which is Trumpers, a little sample of that. That was in the bag. Uh, another Trumper sample of Sky, which is there. Um, and there was some sterling stuff. This is a bath soap, Barum. And another one, bergamot lavender. And also, which I was really, really pleased about because um, I hadn't been able to get the soap, Piacenza soap, the shaving soap, which I got the aftershave mat. So that's a, a good thing I'll be able to, to try this out. And it smells lovely. So that was all, uh, that was all very, very generously given to us by Leon the guy who runs things at Pastor's Pharmacy. I was really, really impressed with that. Um, a very, very nice and generous offer. So that's what I got on Pastor's. Um, also, before I'd went to America, I thought to myself, right, okay, I wanna get um, some soaps that I can't get here. Uh, so I put a, a message out on um, one of the Facebook groups and just saying I'm looking for uh, inspiration Inspiration de Parma by Katie's Bubbles. Um, I can't remember what shaving, one of the shaving stores online sells it. It might be Razor and Blades and More or Blades and something. I can't remember which one. Um, so a couple of guys got back to me and they said they had the soaps. Um, and I then contacted them back and said, would it be okay to send it to my hotel in Florida? And they were cool with that. So um, I managed to pick up two of these soaps. <laughs> I didn't want to say I'll, I'll just, uh, I'll only take one, but they've both been used, but um, there's still a, a good amount in there and it smells fantastic. Um, yeah, really, really nice. So that's, uh, the, I got them sent to the hotel in Florida, no problem. Um, I'll put the names of the guys on the screen because I can't remember their names off the top of my head. So that was two of those. Um, also while I was there, I wanted to get a, a birth year razor, which um, now believe it or not, I was born in 1969. I know, I know I look much younger than that, right? 
it's the hair that does it, isn't it? It's the grey hair that gives it away and... <sighs> never mind. Yeah, <laughs> so I wanted to get a Gillette Black Beauty, um, which with a, a 04 date code, which is 1969 and October, which is the fourth quarter, which was when I was born. Uh, I seen one on eBay before I'd left and they would only ship to the United States. They wouldn't um, ship to anywhere else in the world. So I managed to buy the razor and I contacted a very, very good friend. Uh, well, he's a good friend now. He wasn't at the time. I didn't really know him at all. Uh, and that's Bob, Ran Bob Randolph, uh, Gonzo. Some of you guys will probably know Gonzo. He puts out a lot of shaving videos. He's always got great, great music in the background playing. Um, he uses a vast amount of products. So I'll put a link to his channel in the description. So I contacted Gonzo and asked him if uh, I could buy the razor and get it sent to his address, uh, which he said, yep, no problem, uh, you can do that. So I got the razor and he told me it was there, and then I wanted to get some Mike's uh, Natural Soaps um, Barbershop. So I put another message out on the Facebook groups and someone came back and then I looked at the website and I noticed that he was making it, there was another batch just ready so I managed to get one of these, brand new from Mike's. Uh, I have a sample of this and it's fantastic soap. So I thought to myself, how am I going to be able to get this to my hotel in Florida or in time because I didn't know what the time scale was for Mike shipping. I'd heard that um, sometimes it takes quite a long time. So I contacted Bob. Randolph Gonzo and asked him if I could send the soap to his address again um, and he very generously agreed so what I'd done was I actually bought him one as well and got two sent to his his home address um, so that was how I got that and here's the razor that he sent to me um, this is the this is the birth year razor that I got from eBay as you can see it's in um, good condition for its age uh, it's a twist to open, this is the long handle version uh, you get a short handled version too and it's a butterfly style opening and there's inside, it's good condition on it and you twist the bottom and it has the you twist, it has the quarter turn which you turn like that and it's, uh, it's all very good and the, the numbers nice smooth movement as well so I was very happy with that um, and very happy that um, Gonzo agreed to to do this for me so I don't know if you guys can see the date code on there let's just have a look can you see the zero there or the, not the zero the O and at that side there is the four it's an 04, which is a, the fourth quarter of 1969. So I'm, uh, I'm well pleased with that. Really pleased with that razor. I've been looking for a birth year razor for a while. So, yeah. Mrs. Kevy doesn't know, but um, this is what she bought me for my 25th wedding anniversary gift. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Kevy. <laughs> yeah, so that was that. So when Bob sent the stuff on to me, he, uh, he also very very generously included in the box along with the razor and the mic soaps that I'd bought he also threw in um, some Shaver Heaven Arctic Mango which is menthol, mango, citrus, peaches and musk um, he put that soap in, it has a little lid on it and there's the soap there and you can smell the menthol on that so I'm looking forward to using that he also included in the box um, Mamacita on the rocks, lemon, lime, triple sec, tequila and menthol. Um, I'd never seen this uh, soap before but it's, uh, it's made by the Shaving Yeti who makes Yeti snot and I think that's like a mental, mental, mental soap. <laughs> and it's a, it's a green soap. And it smells nice, it smells like lime. I'm looking forward to using that. And he also sent me in the package some Irish guys shave soap Fiorin and this is a it's like a rose scented soap, it's quite nice 
looking forward to using that. I've uh, I've seen that guy. He has, has an Etsy store, I think it is. So um, that was very very nice of uh, Bob of Gonzo. Thank you, Gonzo. I really appreciate that. Okay, what else did I buy while I was in America? Well, as you guys seen, um, I went to Art of Shaving and bought some uh, pre-shave. Uh, sorry, post-shave balm. Uh, that's the post-shave balm in lemon. I bought some of the pre-shave oil in lemon, and I also bought the aftershave balm in sandalwood. Uh, so I got some of that as well. And um, what else did I buy? While I was at the airport, I bought some Yves Saint Laurent Lomme. This is a, a nice aftershave. Oh, well, it's a cologne. And it comes in a nice bottle like that. And as you can see, I've used some while I was away. Um, and so I got some of that. And I also bought Jean Paul Gaultier La Malle, or La Male, which I, I love the smell of that. And that really does stick around. Um, I've got another bottle of this, but it's almost finished, so I wanted to get another one. So I got that at the airport. And as you've seen in previous videos, I went to Walmart and bought some. This is the, the bottle that I was using. Aqua Velva Musk. <laughs> um, I didn't want to open the, the new aftershaves because they were some of them were sealed and I didn't want them leaking in my suitcase so I bought a bottle of that and I also brought back another one as well just for just to have. <laughs> They're only about three bucks or something so. Uh, so that's everything I think that I bought. Oh I know what one more thing I did buy which I'll just um, show you guys which I'd forgotten about, as I also bought in Walmart uh, a club bin styptic pencil <laughs> and this is Jumbo yeah, so I've not opened that yet I've not felt the need to use it and hopefully I won't have to use it too often but um, yeah, I didn't have uh, one of the, the Clubman ones, so the Pinod so that's all my um, my haul from America, which um, I'm very pleased with. Yeah, some people will probably think I bought absolutely tons of stuff in past hours, but um, actually looking at it, I didn't buy that much. Uh, one, two, three, four soaps. Uh, and I think my brother-in-law actually bought, um, I think he bought five soaps. Um, he bought a Sterling one and a K-Shave Works, which I can't remember what. It was My head was like um, mash. I was just like, Oh, look at all this stuff! It was um, it was quite hard to take in, but I'm really pre I'm really pleased with the the razor. Um, I'm looking forward to using that, the Gillette Black Beauty, the long handled, 04 1969. I know, I know, 1969. That makes me what, 22? Yeah, like I said, we can do the maths later. <laughs> okay. Um, Hopefully that's enough for you guys. Uh, sorry if it's went on a bit, but um, some guys wanted to see what I'd got while I was in the States. Uh, I'm happy to show it off. Um, but again, I'm looking forward to using this. I'll probably send some of it out as uh, samples to some people. Um, but yeah, very happy. Very happy with the mics as well. Um, I know that's uh, sometimes quite difficult to come by, so I've got a brand new tub, which I'm very happy with. Okay, that's all for now. Uh, we'll see you again soon, hopefully. Until the next video, take care. Bye-bye for now.